I have tons of things to do. Like my mind is just my like or my like my brain is just doing ooh, all over the place. Like even when I was on bed, I just woke up now. Even when I was on the bed, my brain was still doing ooh, like I could not even sleep. Anyways, nobody explained this um UK um climate or weather to me like this. About 5 30 a.m. is already bright and it doesn't get dark until like some few minutes to eat, like literally five minutes to eat or like 10 minutes to eat and i've never heard of this type of thing before like I, i'm really in shock people have, have been saying i should get bl um, blinds like black blinds to cover my windows so i'll be able to get you know sleep because i can't sleep with lights light sensitivity inside my eyes my head aches i get migraine blah 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 anyways that's for that then um yeah, I wanted to I wanted to really talk about something again, but I forgot it. Anyways, I'm not in the best head space at all. And <laughs> and I keep saying that once my head is you know all about the place because I have an assessment to submit and that's the only thing that is on my mind. That's the only thing that is on my mind. Every other thing to me is just jaga jaga. Like, my room is in a mess and I don't really care because I need to finish this assessment. I'm not late for this assessment. It's two weeks time. But I just want to get it done and complete it so that I can go back to work. Yeah. You see this thing that they call pomegranates. Pomegranates. I thought it was apple when I got it. And then I posted it on my story and people said, oh, it's the seeds you eat. I heard, I heard, it's the seeds you eat. Why am I waking up this morning to people telling me you eat the seeds and not swallow? Or you eat the seeds and spit it out? What if the seeds were meant to kill me? Anyways, I'm still alive, so, you know, like I swallowed them. Hey, <laughs> you people should be explicit next time. Anyways, I'm not getting like this type of advice from the internet again. I've learned my lesson. When I remember the main things I want to say, I will come back. For now, let me go and make my breakfast, which is a boring breakfast. It's just oats. Uh, so I just made coffee. This will like um, sustain me and help me work today. Later on in this vlog, I'm going to talk about <clears throat> where I am concerning relationship, you know, dating, blah, blah, blah. Because many of you have been asking me for updates. And I will give you an update. So stay tuned. I'll be talking about that when I look, you know, put together. But not now. Okay?
morning. Um, it's Thursday morning, 31st March 2022. Anytime you see my face looking off white like this, just know it's that maybe have sunscreen that I put on my face. And like I said, I'm going to finish it <coughs> before I get another one. Um, today is my smear test. If you don't know what a smear is, this pap smear is for for you to check your cervix if there are abnormal cells there so it's kind of a cervical cervical cancer prevention i don't know so they just you know take some particles off your cervix and they check if there are abnormal cells there and if they are cancerous so cervical cancer is like the most um, preventable type of cancer all you have to do is get a pap smear test a smear test so today is mine i've never done a pap smear test before even though i know i had to get it from like five years ago and that's because five years ago i was still in uni and i couldn't get a is this snowing i couldn't get a test done and then when i graduated I just forgot about it and you know sometimes it just comes back oh i need to get a smear test, and then i just forget about it but recently i really wanted to get it my sister and i wanted to get it just some months before i came here but you see after i paid my ihs money i was like nah i'm not spending a dime here to do that smear test i am going to obodo to go and do my pap smear so the ihs money was quite a lot so i was like if i'm paying all that why, why would i pay money here to do it so getting an appointment was it was so busy the lines were so busy and you know i had to keep calling and calling and calling but fortunately i have finally gotten an appointment which is today i can't take my camera to the hospital that one is non-negotiable so if you're out there nigeria anywhere around where you are you need to get a smear test whether you are sexually active or not and there is also like the HPV vaccine but we'll get into that later 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 if need be so you need to get a smear test because cervical cancer is like the most treatable or the most preventable type of cancer so yeah you need to get a smear test I'm going for mine now and it's very good it's one degree I thought people said they spring. Eh? Why is it one degree? Why is it snowing? It was zero degrees like an hour ago. I thought you said it's spring. Like I packed on my winter jacket back last week. I was wearing just jackets. Now I have to wear like coats, like winter coats, jackets. It's actually really cold. My heater is back on. I can't believe I turned it off at some point. Anyways, I'm getting ready. Like, I have to wear like jacket, jacket. Are you kidding me? Yeah, nah. This sunscreen is really, really, I don't know. Let me make sure. So, I'm kind of nervous at the same time because I've never done one. Hopefully, everything is fine and. I'm good and great so that's my little sense of um pap smear cervical cancer etc then again um i know i promised you guys an update concerning relationship blah 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 i will still do that and that'll be when i come back right now i'm looking like a, you know I, I want to make my hair i washed my hair yesterday so this is the best i can do to look like a presentable human being um so when i get back from the hospital i will give you guys an update all right so i just came back now from the clinic or hospital whichever one yeah my neck is my collarbone is coming out anyways um yeah i've done this um, smear test and it was a bit uncomfortable not not painful it was uncomfortable and you know it was okay. I'm done with it finally. Thankfully, I'm done with it. So I'm meant to book a tuberculosis test again. And they said there's no appointment available, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, so I went to 
Can you please do some grocery shopping? We have a fair going on, so I stopped by and got some things. And I also do a fair and also do. After this, some little grocery shopping. So I bought bananas. I want to. I really want to have a smoothie. So, because I've just been chewing my fruit. So I bought blueberries, strawberries, red bull. Chocolate mousse, soft chicken. It's very unlike me because it's hard chicken I always um, eat. But I just decided to try the soft chicken and it turned out nice. So I also got more from something like that. Yeah, that's it. I didn't really get the lot. And then my meal. So I stopped by at KFC to buy hot wings. If you know how much I've been craving hot wings. See, if you're watching this video and you have the means of buying hot wings for me, I'm going to love you. Hot wings and at the trade fair place, I stopped at the Chinese section to get some mixed vegetable rice. Oh, it smells okay. It smells nice. But they didn't mix it properly. Sure. I can see there are some white white rice there that they did not mix. Anyways. It's not bad, it's just there. So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. I'm going to make me and my nails go. This should be my breakfast, my hot things. I also want to make alfredo pasta. So I got cream for my pasta. Hi, good morning. Today is Saturday morning. And I just woke up. Like, let me show you guys my hair. I made my hair yesterday. I don't know how I feel about this hair. This is my first time doing a um, bantu knot. And, like, I was like, what hair can I make that I can carry for two weeks? And I don't want to wear a wig. So this is the only thing I could come up with. And... I don't know how I feel. It's not just my style, but I'll manage it. And if, you know, push comes to shove, I'll just wear a wig on it. I forgot to tell you guys that I also got my HPV vaccine. I started the dose back in Nigeria, but I didn't complete it. So I told the nurse and she, she gave me like the last dose. I, I'm not even sure if it's two dose I had or one dose. So I just thought I was two. So now, I took another HPV vaccine, so I think I'm done. Except I asked my sister to check my card at home and see if it was one dose or two doses. Anyways, today is Saturday and I'm going to London today. I have a client that I'm meant to work on tomorrow morning, so I need to get to London today. So I'm going to tidy my room, make breakfast, pack my load and prepare to go to London. My train is still behind in the afternoon. So we're going to do all that today. First of all, I, I want to make breakfast. So I don't even know what to make. I think I'm thinking of so many things to eat because I like train trips. So I always make sure I'm hungry before I get on the train so I can buy food on the train and eat and watch moving. Um, I'm thinking of oats and strawberry and something. Or I should just make yam and egg. Or I should just have conflicts, or I should just have a smoothie. But it's like, is that your money that I'm going to make?
it seems really this is the stuff you can it's drumsy. Unfortunately I can't make this, I couldn't make it because we yeah. still had chicken. So we had to finish. We have to finish like the order before we do this. I can't make this now, but I will I will marinate this. I'll marinate this and when I'm back from London I'll grill it. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You're never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Soon. Expect me very soon. Okay, um, I'm ready now. I've had the shower. I'm fresh. I am white because of my sunscreen. Let me do my edges. Hey, I fuck my, I fuck my gel. Should I remove it? Let me just brush my edge. Anyways, I know I promised you guys to talk about my relationship, whatever, but I need to quickly get to the market. When I get back, I will give you the lowdown about how I am in my relationship. <laughs> Alright, I am back. Everything is set. The powder I got is the Essilada powder. This is the powder I got. It's a loose powder. So this is the one I'll use tomorrow. It's very dark, so I'm going to use this all over the face for my client tomorrow. Yeah. 
Mm. Let me position myself very well. And I don't feel like using it closer. I know what a relationship looks like. I know what a union looks like. I've seen people that are married. I have friends that are married. My sisters are married. I know what love. I know what love looks like. If I'm saying I want to be in a relationship with somebody, I know the things I'm meant to do. I know the things I'm meant to receive. But as I am right now, being here studying. There are some things that I obviously can't attain because of how I am right now because I'm studying obviously. But if you want to be with somebody, you should not just consider how they are now, you know, because obviously you want to be with somebody for a long time or even for the rest of your life. So you should be looking ahead that in the next you no know, two, five years, how is this person going to be? what is this person going to be doing if you can't do that I, i'm sorry it's too bad you cannot you know you don't have foresight to see somebody you don't have um i don't know but i come from a very very loving close-knit family we are so close i felt love before from my family members from my friends i know what love is i know what love feels like and if I'm going to be in a relationship, if it's not close to that, I mean, what am I doing then? Is my relationship not meant to be, you know, something like that love or something close to it or even more than? Is it not meant to be like that? So I'm not saying, you know, the person I have to be with must love me immediately or something. I'm just saying you feel it you you will feel it you will know what it is and if it's if it's not just right you know it's not meant for you because obviously you know what you know what you are bringing i don't say i don't want to mention that table that table talk but you know what you are going to do in that relationship you know the roles you are going to play as somebody who is being with another person obviously you know what you know all that so the people, oh, like the few people I've been talking to, or the few people I've, I've sort of been, you know, exchanging messages with, I'm just like, is this what you think? Is this what you feel? And some of them are red flaggish, some of them are not just, you know, aligned with my values. And so, therefore, I decided that from now on, I'm going to concentrate on myself and myself alone. I'm going to concentrate on my studies as that is my priority in this United Kingdom. I'm going to um, focus on my studies and myself. At least you cannot over value yourself or over, you know, improve yourself. I'll continue to, you know, be improved, self-improvement. I'll continue to have self-improvement and I'll continue to pour all my energy into my studies. I don't have to be thinking of, Oh, what did he say? Oh, has he called me? Not like I can't do that or anything, but you know, if I don't have that to bother about, I can push all that energy into my studies. You get my point? So right now, all I can say is I'm by myself right now. I'm not, uh, I'm single. I'm not searching or I'm searching either way. I'm like, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, if it don't. If it doesn't happen well, so be it. I shall know that I know who I am. I know what I can do. As in, I don't need to start announcing or telling everybody that, oh, this is who I am. I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Nah. If you can't do that, if you cannot see it, <laughs> if you can't see it yourself, there's no need. On that note, I end my case about this whole relationship talk. After today, I'm not talking about relationship i hope i've you know been able to satisfy everybody about my relationship status or status that is it i'm done this is everything i have to say concerning my relationship or whatever it is 
I was even feeling like people here are even more enlightened, you know, they know about things, blah, blah, blah. They are thinking that it will be easier dating here than in Nigeria because I purposely did not date in Nigeria because I knew I was going to relocate. So I was like, why would I put somebody through the stress of dating and then I relocate? It was going to be messy. So I purposely did not date anybody mm -hmm, till I got here and now I'm here and everybody is doing like this for me. Okay. Anyways, I've packed my snacks for my for my trip. See, and we have been eating healthy snacks. I'm so proud of myself. So I have red grapes, green grapes, strawberries, blueberries, and some chocolate chips down here. This is my snacks for my trip. And I have some poma pomegranates here. That will be it. I think we're done with this vlog because in about an hour I'm going to start, you know, moving myself to the train station to wait for my train. I don't want to miss my train. Thank you so much guys for sticking around with me, for hanging out, hanging out with me throughout this vlog. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you are here looking at this video, hmm, you know what to do. Subscribe and leave comments in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.